you can embed a Google Doc right into your It's Learning page. In this example, I have some additional notes that I want to give my participants, and I want to do that by adding it to a rich content block on a page. What I need to do is go over to my Google Doc, and I'm going to go to the File drop-down menu and choose Publish to Web. This is going to get me the embed code. If I click Embed, and then choose Publish, and it asks me, are you sure you want to? OK. And then I get my embed code. So I'm going to do Control-C to copy that code. Then I'm going to go back to my It's Learning page. I am going to click on this Additional Notes section. And I'm going to choose this Source button. The Source button will allow me to enter the embed code. So when I do that, I just click in here, and I'm going to do Control-V to paste. And here is the embed code to add that Google Doc right into my It's Learning page so that my participants do not have to leave the page to see my additional notes. Now I'm looking at this and I notice that there are no height or width requirements in here, so I'm going to go ahead and add some. So, there we go. I'm going to click right after the iframe. I'm going to type the word height equals, and then in quotation marks, I'm going to choose my height. I'm going to say 500 for my height. I can always change this again if I don't like the size. And then I'm going to type width, and in quotations, I will put my width. And if I choose the word source, I can see approximately the size that the um, iframe is will tell me how big it's going to appear on my It's Learning page. So when I choose OK, I'm just going to scroll down a little bit. And you see I have my Google Docs right here. All of these links are accessible right through It's Learning. And I can actually make this a little bit wider. So if I go in back and edit, and I go again to my source, and I see my width, I'm going to go ahead and make this 700 as my width. And choose OK. And you can see it did make that a little bit wider.